playing Night in the Woods. So when we last played, it was just after Harvest. Harvest had just happened and May saw a shadowy figure um, attack someone and carry their body off into the woods. But before she could get close to them, she was stopped by her aunt, the mall cop. And we don't know what happened to the shadowy figure. So I guess we will find out, I hope. We'll at least find out what, um, how May feels about what she saw, possibly saw. Those are the new additions to May's journal, the shadowy figure. And a shadow. <laughs> it's not much information. Halloween and harvest. Okay. Let's check the computer. Hey May, thanks so much for your help last night woke up and realised that I completely imposed in a big way. Thank you, I really appreciate it. I'll be at work cleaning up after last night if you want to say hello. So that must be... B. Because she roped May into taking part in that incredible, <laughs> incredible play for Harvest. Greg, hey dude, sorry couldn't hang last night. Angus says he's sorry too. Band practice today, because I'm in charge and I say so. Off to work, bye. Well, band practice always fills me with a sense of dread, because I'm not very good at playing. But we'll figure it out. Okay. So May's dad unblocked the way to the attic, but I can't remember what's in here. Hmm, got to be a way to open this safe. Oh, of course, okay, that's all that's in here. So we just need to figure out how to get in there. Hey, Han. Yeah? Come say hello, why don't you? Well, when we said hello yesterday, our mum was not in a good mood. Hey, Han. Hey, Mum. You look really tired. So do you. Also, I have a splitting headache. Well, the weather seems to agree with you. Grey and drizzly. I could go for that today. Hey, hon. Yeah? Sorry about yesterday. Me too. I said some stuff. I didn't really mean it. Well, whether you meant it or not, that isn't how we should communicate. I don't want us to stop talking. I just don't want a repeat of a few years ago. I'm really sorry, Mum, about all of it. Hey, May, you okay? I'm fine. Guess I'm stressed too. Saw some weird stuff last night. Or I think I did. Want to talk about it? Later. I'm still, like, putting it together. Can we talk about school? Also later. Is 
So what are you stressed about? Well, I guess you're a grown-up now. Just spill it, Mum. After your incident a few years back, as you know, we went into some debt smoothing that over. Jeez, I'm still so sorry about that. It's in the past, let's not go back over it. Okay. When it came time to get you off to school, we took advantage of a kind of a mortgage to make sure you were taken care of. Okay. Well, turns out it wasn't a very good deal. And I just feel so stupid. They like to offer these mortgages to people who maybe don't have a lot of money and aren't used to getting offers like this. Why? Because the bank took advantage of us. And now they own the house. And we owe them more than it's worth. What does that mean? It means we're not sure how long into the future we'll have the house. Holy crap, we're in trouble, huh? And I'm a huge jerk. It's okay, sweetie. Don't worry. Um, you can't just drop that and then say don't worry. What you reading? It's a book of unsolvable murders. Did they all happen? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Sure. Want to hear a real teaser? Sure, not right now. God, jet. Let's say sure. All right. There's a man lying dead in a kitchen with a bullet wound in his head. There's a man there with him. He's got some blood on his right hand, but no gun. Huh. Last thing, the dead guy has a scar on the back of his head. Do you know the answer? Well, I don't know if there's one answer. It's supposed to get you thinking about murder. You should have been a detective about murder. Can't solve a murder without one. Well, she's got us there. Okay, so I have one question. What kind of scar does the dead guy have? Who's the other guy in the room? What else is in the room? Let's say what else is in the room. Normal stuff, refrigerator, microwave, silverware. Knives? No knife wounds though. All oh, right. Okay, I think I got it. Wow, what you got? The guy in the room is a surgeon. He implanted a magnet in the dead guy's skull. That's why he has that scar. Then the suspect used a super magnet or something on the dead guy's forehead, which pulled the magnet out through the dude's head. Ha ah, that's why he has blood on one hand. Yep. And I bet the murder weapons are stuck to the fridge. Holding up a pic of Aunt Dottie. Oh, bravo, sweetie. Thank you, thank you. We don't make quite a pair of investigators. Could open a detective agency in town. Could use one right now, probably. Always work for crime solvers. All right, I'm going to get going. Love you, daughter, detective. You too, Inspector Mum. Well, I'm glad they made up. And I'm very glad that the mum apologised. Okay. Well, let's head out. Oh, it is grey and rainy. I forgot that's what the mum said. So we still can't go that way. See if Selma's is still on the stoop. Yes. How's it going, Selma's? How was your Halloween? Weird. Went to Heartfest. Saw some messed up shit that I think was real. Then had a really bad nightmare. Cool, I stayed in and ate candy and watched TV. Halloween episodes were on. Well, I was out living a Halloween episode, okay? Whoa. Yep. Want to hear a new poem? Always, Selmers. 
autumn winds, autumn sins. Okay, autumn times, autumn crimes. What counts as an autumn sin? What's considered an autumn crime? Let's ask what's an autumn sin. Cheating on your wife with some gas station skank in November. <laughs> All right, yeah, that's um, inconsiderate. Hey, Mr. Chazakov. Yes, Alma? You're gonna break your neck someday. I will make sure to fall right on you. <laughs> well, I'm a big enough target. <laughs> I'm bigger than you. We should be covered. You too. Leaves, leaves, leaves. Is that a poem? Nope. Well, a thrilling exchange with Selma's, as always. The missus varnished this porch herself. Don't go tracking mud all over it. Always with the instructions, this guy. Well, it certainly feels very autumnal today. Okay, I'm gonna go down here and see if I can nab a little pretzel for my rat babies. And because I failed last time, I can't remember how to do this effectively. Oh no. Rosa. Oh, hello, May. How are you feeling today? Oh, I feel the damp and the cold down here, but it's in my bones wherever I go, so no harm. Did you want to talk about Grandad? Oh, yes. Where was I? Something about a tide rolling out, troublemakers in my family. Let's get straight to it, shall we? Right. Back then there were places that brought us all together, or at least brought us together in bits and bobs. The old Smokies, the Grand Bears, the Lodge of Old, the Church and the Union. There'd be dances up at the HB. That's where I met your granddad, oh, a lifetime ago. What was he like back then? Plain in most respects, prone to fits of melancholy, but funny and wild when the occasion called. Surprising is, I guess, the word. Hmm. What did your daddy say about him? Strict but nice, distant but trying? Say strict but nice. <laughs> strict is funny. Why? You all right, Miss Rosa? Oh yes, let's talk another time. Okay, hope you feel better. Oh May, oh dear May. Oh Miss Rosa. Who are these guys? Hey, uh, kind of a weird question, but is anyone missing? What? Like anyone you know who was out last night and didn't come back? Uh, I don't think so. What's going on? Nothing. Thought I saw something. Okay, um, 
You should tell us if this is something. Just be careful, okay? Keep an eye out. And let me know if you see anything weird, okay? I mean, you all hang out together constantly. You're safer than anyone else I know. Hmm. Well, no one missing there. Now, my rat babies, where are you? Whoa. Is someone moving in? Probably something dumb. I miss you, pizza place. Could go see Angus. Where were the rat babies? I think they were on the, were they on the lower level. The party barn. War is some bullshit. You hear me, statue? I guess you were drafted. Ugh. You died before you got to enjoy the statue they made of you. It's garbage. They can't make me go to war. I'll go underground. I'll join some sort of group that's against war and stuff. We'll blow up war stuff and sabotage other war stuff. I'll live in the shadows for decades. No address. Always on the run. Living in a trailer in the desert. It'll be awesome. The old pickaxe. So we do have to go there, don't we, at some point to see B. So today's my last day. Oh dear, we're going to miss you. It happened so fast. Let us know how it is. I will. I'll come visit. Can't leave you two to fend for yourselves. Oh dear. What are we going to do without you? You all want to go see a movie or something? Yeah, let me get all settled in. And we can go on an outing. And you'll see me wherever you go for groceries. Whenever you go for groceries, sorry. That's true. I ain't going far. Not far at all. Coffee. Cigarette. Coffee. Cigarette. <laughs> Fat pocket porn. Hmm, how did I get there up here? It must have been right, but where was it? <sighs> Excuse that break, I had to sneeze. Is it the one above us then? Doggy. Oh yeah, there's that kid up there. Oops, I keep pressing the wrong button. And in we go. Haven't seen our little rat babies for so, um a little while. I think this is my favourite piece of music in this game so far. Plastic flowers are like super super depressing for some reason. Dead flowers are less depressing than plastic ones. Interesting. There's Mallard. Alright my little miracle rats. Time to eat. Come on, little. There we go. Oh, there's more of you today. You need more food. Yes, you do. Nowhere else I can go. Okay. Right, well we've fed our little rat babies. Oh, I forgot there was... Can I go down there? Maybe not. How 
did I get up to see that other guy? Must be this way, right? Did you go to Harvest? Yeah, um, ended up in a play because my friend B screwed it up. Cool. I ate pizza and watched Blood Gorgon. Cool. Blood Gorgon? Blood Gorgon. Italian movie from like 1980. Lots of blood, but it's like theatrical and stuff. Girls boarding school. Bunch of ghosts kidnapping them. Taking them to the, to the Blood Gorgon. Yep. Is something wrong? Nah, just... I think I saw a ghost or something last night. Oh, I'm not sure. That sounds kind of awesome. It was like the opposite of awesome. Oh, sorry. It's cool. I'll see you later. Good luck with your ghost problem. Thanks. You see someone messed up in the mural in the tunnel? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty funny. I mean, very weird and bad. Any idea who did it? Nope. Lots of suspects, though. Yeah. Whole town full of suspects. Hmm. Okay. Can I get up there? Not the way I'm jumping. Okay. Well, we fed our little rat babies. Um, let's go see B. She's closest. Hey, B. Hey, uh, thanks again for last night. I owe you one. It's fine. It was fun. My night got, like, really weird and bad after. How so? Tell you later, I guess. Still, like, putting it together. Okay, well, let me know how that goes. I will. I think it's band practice day. Yeah, I'm gonna go hunt down Greg. Shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, no, he's at the Snack Falcon. I don't know how that guy stays employed. He steals constantly, breaks supplies for fun, and leaves work whenever he wants. Greg plays by his own rules. It feels more like the world plays by his rules. Whoa. I don't even know what that means. Still, whoa. Okay, well I guess we better check in with Greg, huh? We'll speak to Angus on the way. You up for band practice in a bit? I guess. Weird, weird night. How so? I'll tell you about it later. <laughs> Just the absolute bare bones of a conversation there, just straight to the point. <laughs> also, I love that May is prepping everyone for the fact that she had a bad night and she is going to tell them about it, but not yet. She will tell them later. What have these guys got to say for themselves? It's wet again, and I'm cold again. It's just rain. Hey, um... Uh... Why are we still standing out here? Someone has to. I mean, they don't, but it's nice for us to have someone to interact with. What can I get to from up here? A-OK, -okay, drugs and malt. Have I been up here before? I don't remember. Can 
I go in the diner? No. It's this. Hey, dude. Hey, you. Working here now. Yep, sucks. But it pays. Question. How do they fit a kitchen in there? Barely. What do you do here? Grill man and janitor. I cook and mop. At the same time? Yes. The heart of hometown since 1972. The food donkey. Have I been here before? I don't remember. Hey. Sup, kid. <laughs> you smell weird. Why is my aunt's car here? That's your aunt? Yeah. Oh, weird. That, like, makes you half cop? <laughs> You'll never catch me, half copper. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing up there. Huh. You go to Harvest? Nah. Over it. Cool. I had kind of a weird time. Weird bad time, actually. It's a guaranteed weird bad time. Yeah. Well, see you at band practice. Real talk. Do you like, actually like watching us play? Yeah, I mean, you're not good, but yeah. Not my style. What is your style? Black metal, uh, thrash, crossover, hip hop. I like witch dagger. They're kind of metal. Oh yeah, I like that doom shit, right? Da 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 da. Totally. What? You know, one time a guy followed me home. Like a guy from the tracks. What? Okay, whatever, I gotta get going. What did you do? What did you do? It was like some night back in the summer. And out of the corner of my eye, I could kind of see this dude take this turn out of the parking lot and start creeping up the hill. Like 50 feet back. Like, I didn't want to look right at him. Ah, ah, let's do a long one. I took a detour through the woods and sat in a tree. It was getting dark, but like, I could see him standing just off the road, waiting for me to come down. Oh my God, holy shit. What did you do? After it got dark, I climbed down and got up the hill real quick. Ah, yeah, it was a weird bad time. Ah, I am so upset right now. <laughs> I know, right? See ya. Creeps fell. Well, this is where we were yesterday. What were you doing out here last night? I saw someone kid someone kidnap someone like a kid. What were you doing out here last night? <laughs> I saw someone kidnap someone, like a kid. Tell me what you saw again. Someone in a big old coat with someone over their back. Uh-huh. And you chased them down here. Yeah, and I got to the fence and they were up in the woods. All right, thank you, May. Ugh, I knew you were just gonna brush this off. May, there's been no missing person reports. That tends to happen when a kid goes missing from somewhere like Harvest. Hell, I got six calls about kids out too late. There would be a report. I'm reporting. This, this right here. This is a report. May, there's no break in the fence. So? So unless someone could jump this thing while carrying a teenager who hasn't been reported as missing. Any theories, May? They could have gone around the fence. I don't know, May. This fence goes out along the parking lots, almost to the tracks, for you to be right behind them, and then to be miraculously on the other side of the fence. Oh, I was running around half the night, getting after teenager bullshit, and people scared of clotheslines and noises. I, you, 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 oh. 
Are you trying to kick off a horror movie? No one believes the girl who saw the ghost. Well, I have bad news for you. The cop always dies. I'm sorry, we're talking about a ghost now? They must have gone through the fence. Really, May? No, yes, I don't know. I'm really tired. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Will you at least check the woods? May, me and Dan McConnell were up there this morning because of what you said last night. From the fence up to the old mine, we found a couple teenagers on a gross mattress. We saw some worried looking deer and one deer hunter out too early. That can't be it. That is it. The cop always dies. Well, my cat has come to join me. She's just got on my lap. <laughs> Before, in, uh, just after inspecting the microphone. Okay, well, back to our other cat, May. So we can't get past here. Well, I assume there's been no progress with that uh, disembodied arm she found either. What could be happening? Let's go speak to old Gregors, shall we? Spooky savings. Sup, dude. Ugh. Ugh. Long night. Weird night. What's up? I'll tell you at band practice. Cool. What you up to? Just saying hello. Or we're gonna head out to band practice. Well, I guess we can do band practice, can't we? I feel like I'm putting it off because I'm not good at it. <laughs> yeah, let's do this. Oh dear. Well, here's our guy who likes watching us, but doesn't really like the music. Back to watch this fiasco again, huh? Yep. You're our only fan, Germ. I'm just here to be entertained. I'm a gentleman of leisure. Nice. Hey, dude. You okay? You look tired. Ugh, I was up all night. They were fixing the roof door. And it was super loud. Roof door? Yeah, the door at the top of the stairs that goes out onto the roof. Now I can like, I don't know, run from that door down in the lobby up to the roof and pee off the side of the building. Yeah, maybe not. But what's to stop random people from doing that too? Dude, I'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just tired. Fair. Ready to go? Yeah, let's do this shit. Pumpkin head guy. Oh no. <laughs> Pumpkin head.
my gosh. It's just not going to happen. As always, yeah. I can only apologise, apologise everyone. Wow, May that was uh, pretty bad, is what it was. I literally do not know this song. I can say that about every song. Phew, so fast. You just pushed a button. I'm so tired. I strained my vocal cords yelling. Awesome. I'm gonna sound so husky. And anyway, I don't even know if they're dreams or not. And this guy, who I think was a ghost, kidnapped some kid. And also, I think it was in my head after, while I was sleeping. And anyway, yeah, I think I need to do something. Because this is scary. Well, that's not what I was expecting to hear tonight. Are you okay, dude? No. I'm kind of freaked out. It probably wasn't a ghost. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, definitely. Ah. Oh. Okay, fine. I'll go figure this out myself. Oh, dude, don't be like that. You've got us. Oh, dudes. Okay, fine. So we need to maybe see if there's like some ghosty stuff happening around here like from a source we can trust such as does the newspaper have like a ghost section what why is that a dumb question you know we could go check the library for books about it no they have the local paper on file Going back a century. If there's some secret history of kidnapper ghosts, we'll find it there probably. Oh wow, I didn't know they had that. I thought it was just like a broken down old bunch of books. When's the last time you were at the library? We actually have one of the nicer ones around. Oh, how? Rich dude who paid for it way back when? Yeah, they set up a foundation and... Never mind, let's go. Can we regroup after? Uh, sure. Okay, we'll be back. Woohoo, ghosties. That's the spirit. The library. Look, jobs weird like when this was painted it was like hey look out the window we're all working things are great now it's like one of the graffiti murals after someone gets shot or hit by a car this mural is really affecting you i forget that we live in separate realities mine's clearly better pumpkin head guy Hey, closing in two hours. Okay, cool. Any idea where the microfish is? <laughs> microfiche. Microfiche. Third floor. Okay, thanks. Up, up, up. Slow night? Yep. Spooky here all alone. I'd be spooked. Uh. Larry's wandering around here somewhere. Larry indeed. Looks like B's got a cigarette. That's surely not allowed in a library. Oh, I like this music. Looks like someone left something open on this one. 
It's a resume. Bob Targ, born 1967, 50 years old. Let's see. Experience, mining, construction, well drilling. I never think about getting a job when I'm old. 50 is not really old. I mean, you should have money then, right? Ideally, it should be like guaranteed. Should be guaranteed in general. Are you going to join my young socialists chatterbox group? Holy crap. What? It's cha ch charity, bear charity berity. What's charity berity? How did you not know? How do you not know charity berity? I assume this is something from school? The school of being five freaking years old? Alright. So this was a thing you liked as a kid? No! I hated Charity Berity. It does look really hateable. It was like, you were kidnapped by a cult. You were under some curse. You were under some curse. Where a cute thing followed you around 24 seven. Yelling about like sharing and not littering. And paying taxes. Well, that's an important um, skill. I was five. I'm 20 now and I still haven't paid taxes. Charity Berity goes to a state infrastructure budgeting meeting. Oh, I forgot the worst part. It always rhymed. Charity Berity. Oh no, austerity. <laughs> What's that? Reason the two bridges in and out of Saltstown are still closed. Oh wow, you still can't like go to Saltstown? You're welcome to try. Jeez, they sure made a lot of these books. I think they're still making them. This one looks pretty old. Charity Berity, Danger Everywhereity. <laughs> That's vague and disconcerting. Could have just kept updating that one book. Apologies for that um, siren in the background just now. It made me jump. Oh, can't go that way. Do we get back in the lift? We need to see the micro fish. Going up, going down. Coming up, I assume we're not on the third floor just yet. Oh wow, it's dusty up here. It's old up here. Sure is. Maybe your ghost is up here? Yep, ghost. Or something. Whatever he was. He walked through a chain link fence, or flew over it, or something, while carrying something. Oh right, well that's even more impressive. So we're gonna go find this guy, because he took someone, and he's like somehow connected to this thing I've been going through, and that's not good. That all sounded a lot more badass in my head. It's okay, it was fine. Alright, there she is. Cool. I kind of forget that in America, the first floor, the ground floor is called the first floor in the UK. You have ground floor and then you have the first floor so i thought we still had to go up an additional floor but we're already on the third you didn't need to know any of that information but <laughs> so i have no idea how to use it really i can't know how to do everything i'm sorry but what expertise have you brought to this thus far 
This whole thing was my idea. No, your idea was ghost hunting. My idea is to do at least a tiny bit of research on it. If you think it's so stupid, why are you here? Because you're my friend, you arsehole. Oh. Oh, we friends, Beatrice. Here, let me get this set up. We'll be here all night if your dumbass is in charge. Alright, so what are we looking for? I want to steer. No. Move, I'm steering. Ow. Jeez, May. So I'm sorry. Oh, okay, 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 okay. How do we do this? Um, step one, look at the screen. Step two, move around and look at stuff. <coughs> step three, find a ghost. <coughs> sure. Well, spectral happenings at Possum Jump. <coughs> hey, look at this. Hmm, yeah. Looks like Possum Jump. Let me read it. It's Possum Jump. Okay, yeah, that's back up at the skate park, right? Yeah. Ever been up there? Nope. Gonna check it out, though. Go nuts. That's actually probably only a mile or so from Mrs. Miranda's house. Back up in the hills. All kinds of stuff up there. Well, I'll try to avoid any basements. Or corpse husbands. Co-signed. Two local sweethearts were startled this past Sunday night as they hiked along the wooded overlook known as Possum Jump. According to the lovebirds, at approximately 11.45pm, a figure appeared to walk from the edge of the cliff out into the open air and then disappeared. Forestry workers the next morning were unable to locate any evidence of anyone having leapt from, a great, from the great height, leaving the exact nature of what the two saw a mystery. A decent hike up into the state of Forest Hills, Possum Jump is famous for its beautiful view of the Echo Reservoir. It also holds a historical importance as it hosts the lonely graves of several persons involved in the Possum Massacre. Ghost rumours haunt new historical society. Hey, hey, hey. Ghost spotted. Historical society. Yeah, I've never been. You didn't go back in school. I think this is when I wasn't in school. Oh, after the softball incident. Yeah, mostly just watched TV and did therapy. Well, it's actually a pretty cool old house used to be owned by one of the mine owners or something. Railroad, mine, steam mill, steam, steel mill, something like that. An actual haunted house. Uh, no. Elementary school kids are there all the time. They have like summer arts and crafts programs. Oh well, still worth checking out. Ghostly rumours haunt new historical society. The Possum Springs Historical Society's conversion of the Schreigeist House into its new headquarters and education centre has hit a snag. Custodial head Jed Newsom has resigned. Citing strange occurrences in the old manor, I'd be there after hours doing my work and I'd hear someone walking around trying doorknobs. I came out to see who was fooling, but there was never nobody there said Newsom, trying to get this map room operational for the children, all the while I'm looking over my shoulder expecting to see God knows what. Mr Newsom had previously requested to work only daylight hours when other staff were present in the building, but even that proved to be too terrifying. 
I don't go to the off-limits areas anymore. I don't go up past the second floor and then only to go to the office. I know the others laugh, say I'm seeing little Joe or something, but they can all go spit. Little Joe, for the uninitiated, was a local ghost story popular some years ago. The Possum Springs Historical Society has refused to comment on Mr. Newsom's claims at this time. Deep Hollow County Mourns Strange but true A tale of teeth Oh wow, this is gnarly And awesome <laughs> Oh my god Strange But True is our ongoing series about the weird and forgotten aspects of Deep Heart Hollow County history and culture published weekly. Bad bosses figure heavily into Possum Springs history and this morbid tale of crime and secret societies is no exception. The story goes, in 1870, a local mine boss was skimming workers on their pay. A group of miners confronted him while he was in the act. He denied everything with many a slur, and punched the miner's leader, Darnell Glace, in the face, causing him to lose his last remaining tooth. Oh dear. The miners knew how much Darnie's tooth meant to him, <laughs> and they descended on the boss. A few held the boss down, while others removed all of his teeth with pliers. Oh grim. The teeth were passed out to the miners and a secret society was created with a vow to protect the workers' interests. Membership was based on owning one of these teeth and each was marked with a symbol of their choosing. These symbols were used around the coal patch to organise meetings and make announcements. The boss survived the, his attack but never named his attackers for fear of implicating himself. When he died a few years later, members dug up his grave to retrieve his skull. It was used in ceremonies performed before going out for retribution. All would gather round, place their teeth into the sockets and later retrieve their tooth after the retribution was completed. <clears throat> Upon a member's death, their tooth would be passed to a new member. Teeth of members in jail would be left in their sockets until their fates were decided. After the strike of 1889, the society dwindled. Occasionally a descendant of one of these men will find a tooth with strange markings in their home. Strange but true. That is gnarly. A possum massacre. It's not really ghost based. It's a strike. Ghost, local ghost Little Joe at it again. Ooh, look. Scooch, so I can see. Graveyard, that's a gimme. I mean, if you're looking for ghost stuff, that's where they make a lot of them. Looks like they saw him in the old section. Oh, cool, that's where his grave is. I'm actually interested in that. How could you not be interested? This is like actual dangerous ghost stuff. I like history. Ghosts are history. History that won't stay history. <laughs> that's actually pretty good. Okay, well, that's like three leads. Let's boogie. Let's boogie. Also, is that it? Let's read this first. Local ghost, little Joe, at it again. As the school children are quick to inform you, Possum Springs has at least one resident who won't show up on any census survey. Little Joe, purportedly the ghost of Joe Shade, a miner who died in mysterious circumstances some decades ago, is a favourite spook story of the whimsical and weird members of our community. <clears throat> His most recent activities seem to involve getting up out of his coffin in the old section of Possum Springs Cemetery and strolling around, unnerving visitors to the largest graveyard in Deep Hollow County. 
His grave has become a destination for unruly and often destructive local youths, and as such, Possum Springs City Council is considering erecting an iron gate to protect the historical tombstones that fill the small hollow where Joe Shade lies buried. Police have also stepped up patrols in the area, so be warned, thrill seekers, you may not see a ghost, but you may see a fine for trespassing. Let's look at more stuff, just to make sure. We really could read all of this, couldn't we? But there's an albino groundhog. Okay. I think we'll have to leave it there. <clears throat> this is interesting, but yeah, not exactly about a ghost. <clears throat> So, we've got some leads. Can I borrow your car this week? Do you even have a license? I mean, no regardless, but do you? Nope. No license, no credit cards, don't believe in money. You just believe in other people's cars and money. I didn't choose to be born into this society. Okay, well I have, you know, a job. So I can't drive you around to all these spots. I can maybe do the graveyard. I need to go there anyway. Cool. I'll see if Greg wants to do the other two. You know, like... And I probably don't have to say this. But just because something happened in the past... Doesn't mean it's going to happen again. Hey nerd, ever hear that history repeat? It does. It does the same thing over and over again. So we've just been in a loop since we were living in caves. Yeah, that's science. Oh my freaking god. <laughs> what is... Is that Miss Quelsey? Oh wow, I haven't seen her since graduation. She was always kind of a badass. School district did not fund that out art program at all. But she made it work. She was like some sort of art teacher survivalist. Wow, I never realized. I think they pay her in bits of string and empty soda cans. Should be saving that string to repair those bridges into Saltstown. There you go. Thank you all for coming to this second meeting of the Possum Springs Poetry Society. Do you want to stick around for this? Yeah, let's see. Let's hear what they have to say. Tonight we have new poems from myself and Fisherman Jones and Selma Ann Forrester. I will start us off with one of my own. She's from some big city, right? They don't actually pay her in string, right? She's from some big city. Yeah. How'd she end up here? Who knows? Ahem. Letter to my worst student. Oh dear. To my worst student. The subject of my stories. I tell friends back home. When they ask about life, out here in the sticks, it's you. I worry. At the end of my life, you will be the only one I remember. Why did you key my car? I know it was you, Brian. Thanks, everyone. Is that legal? Poor Ms. Quelsey. At least she's blowing off some steam. Next up, Fisherman Jones. Fisherman Jones has a poem for us. Two. Two poems. They're short, though. Two poems. Take it away. Uh, hi, folks. Thanks. This is called Tunnel Eels. Tunnel Eels, Tunnel Eels. I do not know how it feels 
to be in darkness all the time, born in muck and raised in slime. But neither Jew, no paths I've trudged, so it hardly is your place to judge. Okay, that's one poem. The next one is shorter. This is called Tunnel Frogs. Tunnel Frog swims in the dark. Must think it would be a lark to be a fisherman like me. But what do you know, Amphibie? That's it. That's great. Thank you, Fisherman Jones. Dude is really worried about what fish think. He definitely talks to the actual fish. Almost definitely. Finally, a poem by Selma Ann Forrester. Yay, Selmas. Thanks, May. You know her. Dude, she's like your neighbour. Oh. She writes these really funny, dorky short poems. I'm up for something short and funny. This is called There's No Reception in Possum Springs. <laughs> She's not wrong. <clears throat> no reception here. I wave my black phone in the air like a flare, like a prayer, but no reception. I read on the internet Baby face boy, billionaire, phone app sold, made more money in one day than my family over 100 generations. More than my whole world ever has. World where house buying jobs became rent paying jobs, became living with family jobs. Boy billionaires. Money is access, access to politicians waiting for us to die lead in our water, alcohol and painkillers. Replace my job with an app. Replace my dreams of a house and a yard with a couch in the basement. The future is yours. Forced 24-7 entrepreneurs. I just want a paycheck and my own life. I'm on the couch in the basement. They're in the house and the yard. Some night I will catch a bus out to the west coast and burn their silicon city to the ground. Holy shit. Wow. Damn. Huh. She rhymed entrepreneur. I didn't, don't even know what that word means. Thanks everyone. Is she always like this? No. Wow. Huh. Thanks everyone. See you in two weeks. Hey Selmers. What? I liked your weird poem. Thanks. I wrote it myself. Wait, was the assumption that she didn't write it hers? Nice work, Smelma. I don't like that nickname. What are you two? Sorry. It's cool. Can we go now? Okay, thanks for coming. We live here. Right, so, find out anything about your ghost? Yeah, tell him, B. There were some newspaper clippings that talked about a ghost. Not just any ghost, little Joe. I don't really remember little Joe. He's a ghost miner. He died in mysterious circumstances. Wow. I know, right? Mysterious. I thought you were, like, afraid of this ghost. Like, filled with dread and shit. I'm terrified. Okay. So it mentioned three different places we can all check out. Uh, I have work and stuff. Yeah, Greg and I also have work. You guys skip out on work all the time. Maybe we can, like... I split this up. Share custody of you and your ghost. What places were you thinking about? Uh, the, the graveyard? I call that one. It's close and not illegal. Is there an illegal one? Sure is. The historical society. You know, you don't have to, like, break in. 
the people there like get paid to show it to you anyway i'm in for the historical society awesome so what did i get stuck with possum jump <gasps> i know possum jump we used to go there in scouts perfect Okay, I need to like actually get home and do work. This is gonna be awesome. And also I'm scared to death. What's been added to the journal? Ta-da, it's Selma's a good poet. Thought if I die, Selma's should write a poem about it. Okay. I don't think we've seen our dad in a little while. Ugh. Yeah, seems like that's going around. The ugh. Yeppers. So, uh, you and mum had a bit of a fight yesterday, right? Yeah. I all thought you two were getting along. We were. We are. I'll say we are. Just a bump. You two. Always two alike. I guess. I got your chill and her smart arsedness. I'd just hate to see you two on the outs again. We'll be fine, we're cool. So we're having money problems? What? No, we're fine. Dad. May, it's fine. It's okay, I'm 20, I can handle it. Nothing to handle. Okay. Might just head up to bed tonight. Sounds good, kid. Been a long couple of days. Nothing else here. Okay, nothing we can interact with other than going back in the attic. I don't know how to open that safe. Messages. Hey, let me know when you want to hit the cemetery. I should be around most nights this week. I don't know. Thanks, B. Don't thank me too hard. I'm going there anyway and it's like right down the road. You're running this. Oh, in that case. You are so incredibly welcome, and also you better not forget this big favour. That's more like it. I'm falling asleep. Had fun tonight. Sorry if I was grouchy, it's just as... It's, 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 it's fine. I fell asleep on my keyboard. Wait, did you fall asleep? Lol. She did. That's what Greg is saying. Yo, I looked up the historical society on the internet. It's real old, but then they did big re renovations. Oh, really? I mean, listen, I'm not saying there's a ghost, but old stuff that just got torn up seems like ghost central. How so? You're a ghost hanging out in an old house, and then someone puts in a pool where you died or something. Haunted pools would actually be pretty scary. I'm spooked. I'm going to bed. Angus, hey, May. Let me know when you want to go to the park. I looked up a map, and it's a pretty straight shot up to Possum Jump. Okay, great. We never really get a chance to hang out. It'll be fun, I think. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Night, sir. Tips hat. <laughs> okay. Well... I don't want to embarrass myself by practicing my bass playing so I think we're gonna go to bed let's see if May has any weird dreams well we're back in a spooky dream world
Oh no. I thought it was going to eat me. Someone floating upwards. Another person floating upwards. We've got a saxophone. This one feels slightly less spooky to me than normal. Of course, I can't see anything as usual. Oh no. It's a long way down. Can't get up that way. No. Oh, that's someone. Oh, but they're not one of our instrument players. Would it be down here? someone in one of these. Yeah, there we go. Accordion. Oh, whoops. That's annoying. we've had fish before in these weird dreams hmm. so we came up here before I wonder what else there is over this direction jump. Okay, our violin. tuba I guess. We've put another lantern on. Ah, oh, so we have been here. Well I assume that's all the instruments but now I just need to find out where to go. Hmm, not there. Okay, probably back to where I started. Hmm, where did I start? I can't even remember. Didn't I? Yeah, that, that 
lanterns on. as far up as we can. We came this way earlier though, didn't we? It doesn't look like there's much more in that direction. Springs. We've now gone in the direction of ghost hunting and we have some leads. Three new, new locations to visit in search of ghosts. And we also know a bit more about May's parents' situation and their home, which is obviously some sad news. But as always, we've gained a bit of new information, a lot more questions. But as always, a lot of fun. So, thank you for watching. And um, join me again when we're back in Possum Springs again quite soon. Okay, thanks for watching and see you again. Goodbye and good night.